now children we are starting with the pronouns okay children in the last class i taught you about personal pronoun and i have shown you a chart also fine with the help of the chart you are able to identify that what is first second and third person pronoun okay today we will be learning about demonstrative pronouns okay what is there in demonstrative pronouns demonstrative pronouns is that pronoun that is used to point out the object or objects okay so what is demonstrative pronoun it is a pronoun used to point out point out the object or objects okay this is demonstrative pronoun fine children now see this that those and these now these are all demonstrative pronoun fine but they are being used with a singular noun or pronoun how just look at this if we talk about this okay so this is used with singular okay if we talk about that then that is again used with singular and if we talk about those then it is used with plural and similarly these also okay fine so this and that is used with singular noun and pronoun and those and these is, is used with plural noun and pronoun okay fine children now i will give you an example of this so it will be clear with you that how we are using this that those these in a sentence okay write it down this just write down this in your rough copy children you are not going to do any work in your fair copies write down everything in your rough copy okay yes now we will start with the example just see this i told you it is used with singular so this is a blue pen okay second that that is a that is the path i was talking about okay next is those okay so those are beautiful flowers okay and next last one is bees and bees are the new toys now look here children i told you that this and that is used with singular this is 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 used with singular fine that is again is is used with singular those are these are both are used with plural so now it is clear that how this that those these is used in a sentence and they are called as demonstrative pronoun
pronouns okay now we come to the next one that is interrogative third one interrogative pronouns okay third one is interrogative pronouns what are interrogative pronouns children so used to ask used for asking a question okay and there is a question mark which shows that it is into interrogative pronoun okay who whose who which these are all what interrogative pronouns okay now we see the examples first one is who who has come to meet me okay next whom or whose we can say who is Sorry, sorry, children. Here, what is used? What is the matter? Okay. Next, whom? Whom do you? want to meet okay next is which which is your your book fine so now you know that how we are using interrogative pronouns in the form of a sentence and i think you all are able to see okay now you are able to see children that you have put question mark after every sentence okay this shows that they are interrogative pronouns okay now next one is reflexive pronoun okay next one is reflexive pronoun fourth one now what is reflexive pronoun used when the object of the verb is also the subject of the verb okay so what is reflexive pronoun reflexive pronouns is used when the object object of the verb is also the subject of the verb
okay i give you example i helped myself now children this myself is what it is reflexive pronoun okay how it is reflexive pronoun that see i help myself okay myself and i stand for the same person okay so that's why myself is what a reflexive pronoun one more example i'm giving you they hurt themselves themselves during during the game okay so here themselves is what it is reflexive pronoun fine now in this also in this reflexive pronoun also children we are having a table fine just see how reflexive pronoun is used in singular first person second person third person singular plural and when it is common just copy down this yes i hope you all have done now we come to the table the table to understand the reflexive pronoun that when a reflexive pronoun is used in first person second person or third person okay now just look here children when we talk about singular okay so what is there in first person we use i in second person we use you okay and in third person we are going to use he she and it okay fine if we talk about reflexive pronoun then reflexive pronoun then this i will become myself okay you will become yourself and he she and it will become himself herself and next is it itself fine okay now uh, if we talk about plural okay so in plural in first person we use we in second person we use you in third person we use they okay and if we talk about their reflexive pronoun then what will happen just write it down this write down this children then i will tell you the plural form of reflexive pronoun
सी वॉट इज एयर इन प्यूरल ओके वी आर यूजिंग वी यू इन सेकेंड पर्सन वी इन फर्स्ट पर्सन एंड दे इन थर्ड पर्सन ओके एंड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट रिफ्लेक्सिव प्रोनाउ देन दिस वी विल टर्न इन टू आर सेल्स ओके you will remain yourself okay and they will become themselves fine so this is how we are going to change plural into reflexive pronoun understood children this is the way we are using the reflexive pronoun okay now i give you some some questions fine i give you some questions for your practice you have to practice you have to practice those questions at your home fine and those questions are from all the four pronouns okay what you have to do you have to do just fill in the blanks okay fine we will discuss these in the next class we will discuss all those questions which i am giving you right now in the next class okay Fill in the blank. Okay, I am writing what you have to write in that in front of it. Write down these questions, children. okay in this you have to fill personal pronoun okay next one in this also you have to fill personal pronoun okay next third one okay in this you have to fill reflexive pronoun yes next i hope you all have written this i am writing the fourth one now
fourth one in this you have to fill demonstrative okay Fine, children. In this, both you have to fill demonstrative. Okay, demonstrative pronoun you are going to fill in this. Okay, next. In sixth one, you have to fill. interrogative okay fine in this you are going to fill interrogative fine children so these are the six fill in the blanks this you have to do it in your rough copy in the next class we are going to discuss these fine so you just write the full sentence and in the next class we are going to discuss with these fill in the blanks these six fill in the blanks fine and that's all for today and again i'm reminding you that tomorrow you're not having any doubt class and please look at the website for your further information okay fine Thank you children take care everyone be safe